Okay, so I told you guys that I was going to keep you guys updated with my process with my um, medical assistant program that the state of Indiana is paying for. And so yesterday, Caesar, get out of here. I don't know why you have to get right under my feet every five seconds. Um, so yesterday I went and got the learning materials. Caesar, stop. He's trying to eat the paper that I have in my hand. Um, so yesterday, sorry, I went to get the materials and the state of Indiana is covering like all of my materials. I think I covered that in the first video where I told you guys about the program itself. And yesterday we got our books, we got the handbook. Um, this is the school that I am going to. In case you are wondering, um, for those of you in Indiana, the state's um, Next Level Jobs Workforce Readiness Grant is um, paying for a CCMA certification through this school. Um, with the certification is through the NHA, but um, it's from this school. And so this is the handbook. And then in that handbook, they have like the actual class schedule. And this only covers the classroom portion. And then after these dates, um, we have four weeks of clinical externships. So classes will be done by February 9th is our final exam. And then um, we do four weeks of externship, I believe it is. And then after that, we can take our NHA exam to be certified. And um, she said that a lot of people in the class end up be being offered positions at their clinical externship site. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so by March, I should have my national certification, hopefully, because the state only pays for you to do it one time, which I also mentioned in that previous video. Um, now, my school also provides us with a laptop. Since I am in the hybrid class, this is what they gave us. It's nothing special and it's not brand new. Um, it's an Asus Chromebook. Um, and they provided us with books and study guides. And one thing that I really like that they gave us is they gave us like NHA study packets. And um, she basically said, once you um, know all of the information that's in the packet, or at least have a grasp on the information that's in the packet, you should be able to pass your NHA exam for CCMA, which is a Certified Clinical Medical Assistant. Um, and obviously that is a national certification. That's the same place that I got my national phlebotomy certification from is the NHA, um, not the same school. I went to a different school for my phlebotomy certification and training, but I also have to redo phlebotomy training as part of my medical assistant program. So within the medical assistant program, there's medical assistant it's like split up into different modules so at the beginning it's medical assistant then it's phlebotomy and then it's ekg i think we end on let me check and see because i know we start with cma yeah so it's cma for one two three four five and a half weeks and then it's phlebotomy for one two three four weeks and then it's EKG for three weeks. And then it has two, well, basically one and a half weeks of review. And um, part of this is we also have to fill out these things. So I will show you for anybody who has like a question about how this works, um, like with the state, like how do they know that you're actually going to class and everything? So we have to do this. This is a hard copy, but I don't know if you can see that. So you have to fill this out for every week and send it back to the school who then sends it to the state. Um, so basically 
you have to prove that you are attending class because the state is paying for it. So obviously they don't want to be paying for somebody who's not even going to class. Um, and then the school also keeps track because we have to have a certain number of study hours and externship hours. So, you know, you have to follow the rules basically. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. Like she basically said that they do whatever they can possible to make sure that their students pass. She says that their pass percentage rate is really high because of that, because like she was even talking about how there was a female student in one of her prior classes who was um, almost done with the classroom portion and about to start the clinical externship portion and her car broke down and she was actually going to class in person and um, basically she like her car broke down so the director she set it up so that the um, student had a ride to and from class and then to and from clinical externships which I think is like, really cool because you know it's nice to see educational facilities who actually care about their students and care about your success. So I feel like I definitely picked the right program because there were multiple programs um, from multiple facilities or schools or training centers that um, I could have chosen from for the medical assisting program, but I chose this one because one, it's not that far away from where I live. It's maybe a 20 minute drive, um, depending on traffic and I've heard good things about them. So um, they are fairly new, but they are like, they do seem to be really good anyway. Um, but I just thought that I would give you guys that little update and I hope you guys are interested to see where this journey takes me. Um, whatever I do, I cannot quit this program. So please keep me accountable, make sure that I stay in this program and don't just like get so flustered and stressed out that I drop out because I can't. Like this is so important and I really need this boost in my life. And yeah, anyways, I hope you guys are having a good day and I will talk to you guys again in my next video.